Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and we talk about WordPress tutorials, how to do particular things, plugins, themes, snippets, and freelancing tools. If any of these interest you, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and click the little bell to see more videos just like this one. Today we're going to be talking about Beaver Builder. We're actually talking about an add-on to Beaver Builder called Beaver Builder Themer. So I'll head over to their site. Um, so I'm at wpbeaverbuilder.com, and at the top it says Beaver Themer add-on plugin, and you click up here to get to this particular add-on. Now a lot of people read this and they do get confused about what this is and what it does. Basically it allows you to create templates for post types, for archive pages, for single pages, for individual pages. You can do parts, so right here it shows theme parts. You could do a menu or a call out or a footer. And then also you can connect it to things like um, advanced custom fields, where you could bring in particular pieces of data into a template and then make it universal across the site. So it is very powerful, but a lot of people don't realize what it is or even what it does. And today we're gonna to be talking about building page titles. So just put on pages, not on posts, showing the titles in a more stylish fashion and how you'd go about doing that. All right, so let's get started. So I'll go ahead and close this. All right, so we have this website here um, that we're gonna go through. It's using the Beaver Builder theme, the child theme, the Beaver Builder plugin, and then the Beaver Themer plugin. So Themer, even though it has the word theme in it, it's not a theme, it's a plugin for building onto the theme. So like any website, there's a header, so that's this white bar across the top. Then there's a menu, and then we have, this says Meet Jane. This is the title of the page itself. So you can see up here in WordPress it says Edit Page. Below that's the content. I'll skip down here. Then we have this brown bar here, which is right above the footer. And then we have this blue bar, which is the footer itself. It's kind of the gist of this site. What Themer allows me to do is insert, say I want between the menu here and the title, I can insert another bar and put a call to action. Sign up for our newsletter, I can put an ad, I can put a phone number, anything. Again, the same thing, I could say right above this header bar, I could put another blue bar that says join us on Facebook. So that's kind of how you can do it. Themer allows you just insert um, blocks of code. It's not necessarily code that you see with Beaver Builder, but drag and drop blocks that you drag in and insert into the page. And you can do it throughout with a set of rules. All right, so let's get into it. What we're gonna do is change this Meet Jane to something a little more stylish than just this Meet Jane in an H1 tag that happens to be blue. So what we're gonna do is head up to the top and go to New, and then go to Themer Layout. So if I click that, it'll bring us back to the back end of the site, but it'll give us some options. So you can ignore that notification from Yoast. Um, again, on the back end, you can go to uh, under Builder, it'll say Page Builder, or it'll say Beaver Builder, depending on the version you have. Add New. Um, again, you can also go to Themer Layouts, and then click Add New again. So click Add New. All right, so here we are. So we're gonna title, go away. We're gonna title the part that we're building here. Um, and this is just for your reference. So it's something that just comes to mind. So I'm gonna name it page title. Um, I've seen here a page title and people put a longer description explaining what this piece is for. It's entirely up to you. Um, type, so when we click type, we have themer layout. From here, you can also do a Beaver Builder template, row, or module, but we're just gonna leave it at theme or layout because that's what we're talking about. And then next to layout here, we have um, six options. Structure is header. It'll, if you're using the Beaver Builder theme, within the customizer, you have header options. If you select header here, it strips those away and just lets you use this. Same with the footer. And then down to content, archive is your blog post archive. So it shows newest first and goes down from there. So this allows you to adjust the archive. Singular would be single blog posts or single pages. So remember, they're, they're just post types. 404 is an error. So if somebody goes to yoursite.com slash a bunch of gibberish, you can customize the error page. 
And then finally, part is what we're talking about. Part lets us take a part and insert it anywhere within the site. So we'll go ahead and do part. I'll say add theme or layout. Now it brings us here, it pulls over our title, shows the page builder, and then below that, and I think these should be switched, but they're not, it says theme or layout settings. Type is a part. Um, unfortunately, you can't change this, and I don't know why. You'd have to either create a new one or delete it if this part is wrong. Um, so if you chose singular, um, that won't work. You have to choose part. Uh, position. So this says, where do you want it on the site? So I can say when the page opens or closes, before the header or after the header, before the content, when the content opens, closes, etc. Um, this is typically known as hooks. We're hooking into different parts of the site, um, but this just allows us to select from a menu and go from there. So we are actually going to do after the header. And then if you have several of these, you can order them. So if you have three parts that are after the header, you can say one, two, three, and stack them accordingly. Next location, I'd say choose. We're gonna do this on pages, so you can see you have a lot of different options. I'll click page, and I'll say all pages. But I wanna exclude the home page. So I'll click add exclusion rule, exclude, and I go back down here, page. And instead of all pages, I'm gonna come down and say home. So now our rule says on all pages across the board, except for the home page, I would like this themer part to show. Um, you can add additional rules. Um, so you can choose from here, post title. So you can say only if the post title has the word Twitter in it, show this blue background, which is fantastic. So I'm not gonna do a rule, so I'm gonna close that. Over on the right hand side, it shows draft. That's what this is so far. Uh, some categories that I already have added in. If you're just starting with this, this will be blank. I always set page um, if it impacts the page. And then this one also impacts the layout. Um, it asks to make primary. That's just a part of WordPress. I ignore it. Um, and then if I do a blog post, if I want just single blog post to look a certain way in a category, I would create the page builder category of single. And then I'd also do categories so I can just remember it if you're going to do a lot of these. All right, next we'll go to launch page builder now that we've set up our rules. So here it brings in the header bar and the menu. Then this middle part here is where our part is getting inserted. And then further down, it says content area. So right now we're previewing this page as the newsletter page, but I don't believe there's content on there. So we're going to go to page. And we'll just go to about. And it doesn't show any different, so maybe I'm wrong. All right, so we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at about. So now it says drop a row layout or module to get started. So I'm going to go to rows, and I'm going to drop in a single column. So there it is there. I'm going to hit the wrench, and I'm going to make this full width. And then I'm going to leave the content width fixed, and I'll hit save. So I'll give it a second to save. Next, I'll hit the plus, and I'll go to modules, and I'll go to heading, and I'll drag that in. Now, on the Beaver Builder uh, website page, we read that they have field connections. So heading is going to be different across the board depending on the page that I'm on. So I'm going to, instead of typing something in here, I'm going to click the plus, and it gives me some options. Archive title, post title, scroll down. Site title, oh, here we go, post title. So connect, what it does is it connects this whole section here with this attribute of the page title, which happens to be about Jane. Insert, inserts a short code in here and allows me to add stuff before or after it. Um, so I'm gonna connect it. So I'm gonna go to post title, connect. So now this is gonna take the post title, there it is. I want this post title to be an H1. So there it is. And then I can style it accordingly. So I will say blue, is that the lighter blue? Uh, maybe it already is. I can change the size of it here. I can make it centered. I can do left align. I'll leave it at left align. And I'll go ahead and hit save. And now no matter what page I go to, that title will change. So I'll go over here to coaching, reload. It says coaching. This way, since I'm connected, you can see it there. I'll show you the insert. So I'll go to plus and then post title insert. 
Now it inserts this, and then I can say dash, maybe a date, or anything you want. Hit save, now it says coaching 2019. If I go to page, and I go to about, it says the title of the page dash the fixed version that I added in there. But I don't want that, so I'm just gonna leave it at this. All right, we'll go ahead and go to save. And now I'm gonna jazz this up a little bit more. We'll go to row settings. We'll go to background. We'll make it a gradient. And we'll say, let's see, maybe green. We'll make this white. Make, uh, let's change this to... Maybe 180. Yeah, we'll do 180. All right, and then maybe we'll do a shape. Let's see. Circle. Oh, we should make this a gradient. No, we won't do a shape. We'll leave it at this. All right, so now we have About Jane, and we'll hit Save. All right, so now I'm going to publish this. So I'm going to click Done, Publish. And right now we're still on the, it says, Post Type FL Theme Layout. So I want to just click over to an actual page. So now you'll see here, this title still remains and then because it was always there before and it was automatically added in manually, which is fine for small sites, but for huge sites, manually adding titles can be a, pretty much a bear. Um, so if I come back in here and I edit this, I'll just close this one out and I'll get rid of this rule. Hit done, publish, and there it is. So across the board, every single thing will um, have this green part. Now you can see it's repeating the title here and that's fine. All pages from here on out will have this page part without this. So this was manually added in. So doing something like this part is great, especially for huge sites. You don't wanna go through a thousand site or a thousand pages, excuse me, adding page titles manually. You wanna be able to do it here and if you ever need to change it, you simply go to Page Builder. And when I hover over it, because this is a page, I can do Coaching, which is the content, or I can hover over Page Builder, I can edit the footer, the header, or the title. If I click Title, here's that part. I can go to the gradient, tone it down a bit, way down, and now I can hit Save, and now every title across the board has a slightly green fade instead of the dark fade before. So that's how to create page titles using the Beaver Builder Themer plugin, and we built them using a themer part. Um, so if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments how you use it. Additionally, right below me is a box. If you click it, it'll let you subscribe to the channel very quickly. Right next to it's a circle that'll bring you to the website where you can join us on our free Facebook group to get additional help. Over on the right-hand side here are two playlists, one exactly for you, and the other one is the most recent upload. Thanks for watching.